Should you buy a retirement home sooner than later? That's a good question. This is a question that's on a lot of our clients' minds these days. It's, you know, people are thinking about that next you know, golden chapter of life and where they're going to be in retirement. And with the internet today, people can you know, peruse at their leisure in their pajamas on the dream places they might want to consider living. And we've got, we've got uh, some interesting uh, statistics from a recent st study and survey that was out there, Lane. Sure. I mean, let's talk about where this question stems from first. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah, this question stems from the fact that a lot of um, work, like work people, people that are you know have jobs, they're working from home, and maybe they're able to work for from home for the foreseeable future. So they know that maybe they're only several years away from retirement, but being able to still work from home over those next several years, maybe that might push them into being able to purchase their retirement home or their second home earlier than anticipated. And with the demand and being so high and the inventory level being so low for single family homes. And the study found, I believe, um, let me look at it really quickly. Uh, three out of four retirees own their homes um, outright and 73% of the retirees currently live in single family homes and the demand for single family homes are higher than ever. So why not take advantage of a great marketplace for a seller and then also you know, get in to your retirement home earlier than anticipated, especially if you have the luxury of being able to work from home for the next couple of years. That's a great point, Lane. And one other thing too that uh, we're finding with people, and this is going to be kind of the theme for our uh, segment here, is almost it's a two-year plan these days. A lot of folks are thinking about leaving California and they're moving to other areas where there is a lot of land and there's a lot of development going on. So these people have the opportunity to move to a brand new home. Sometimes there's waiting lists for these. Sometimes there are spec builders that they can work with. Sometimes there are large uh, developments, but that's just a big option that a lot of people have. And you don't want to wait until retirement is months away only to find out, wow, the home I want isn't going to be completed for one year or 18 months along those lines. So we've got a lot of, a lot of fun things to talk about and hopefully educate you today. Yeah, absolutely. And did you know every day in the U.S., roughly 10,000 people turn 65? So that's the baby. That's the baby boomers that I know. I know. So and that's the reason, the reasons why we're going to be hearing a lot of these questions of of the two year plan, of the three year plan of do I buy this retirement home now? I don't have to work and go to a job site anymore. I can work from home. Does it, does it make sense to take to do that now? Well, Lane, I think, you know, just from conversations we've been having with our clients over the past six months, you know, and we also know from previous uh, episodes, the uh, amount of equity that the baby boomers have in their homes is, is, is at a record high. Uh, interest rates are at record lows. So some people are doing the math and thinking, you know, do I take some equity out of my current home now, take advantage of low interest rates? And, you know, another reason to perhaps purchase that, that retirement home sooner than later, and maybe use it as a vacation uh, getaway in the meantime, be able to spend some time there now that we know we can work from home a little bit. The options are just uh, so much greater than they were even a year ago. And I'm happy that you mentioned that equity topic because according to the 20th Annual Transamerica Retirement Survey, 75% of retirees own their homes and only 23 have mortgage debt. So that's a huge majority of the retiree population that are sitting on a tremendous amount of equity. And that's also including any equity lines or lines of credit. Mm -hmm. So yes, well they, they, have, they have the capability of being able to sell their home, transfer the equity into a retirement home, buy all cash. And a lot of times they might be moving into an area, especially if you're uh, selling your place in California and moving maybe out of state, you're buying an area where you're gonna be able to not only use the equity to buy something all cash, but maybe have some funds uh, in the bank after as well. Absolutely. So Lane, let's talk about that. Let's just say I'm thinking, I, let's just use me as an example. I'm not going to retire. So no worry, clients, we're going to be around for a while. But let's say I'm uh, sitting in my home. It's paid off or near paid off. Um, I've got some job flexibility. I have the uh, option to uh, work from home a little more than I used to. And but two years down the line, I'm going to be fully retired. What might be a uh, maybe a three-step action plan that I might start working on right now? Well, three-step action plan, I guess, one would be determining on where you want to go. Uh, if you determine where you want to go, let's say it is out of area, you know, um, then you would want to get connect with a local agent here uh, and then have them do an analysis on your home so that way you know about what it what it's worth today or what it could potentially be worth a couple years down the road too because that local agent that you trust and you know and you like uh, they can pro also probably help you interview another agent out of the area so that way you can 
get, get set up with two top agents, one locally and where, one where you want to be and maybe start to look that way as well. You know, actually, Lane, that's a great point. And again, we, of course, ha have our loyal clients, but this show is designed for value. If you have your own realtor, that's awesome. I'll share a quick little story. We have some great clients, Virginia and Stuart, uh, who've been in their home now almost 25 years here in Huntington Beach, and they made the decision they're going to retire in a couple of years and go to Florida. Uh, they have family in Florida. They're heading out uh, this Thanksgiving to visit that family, and they said, you know what, we'd like to just start perusing around. We have an idea of a town that we'd like to retire to, but we want to actually physically see it. So when we come back home, we can kind of start processing that. So uh, I was able to uh, use my skills and my, my networking and some of the uh, mastermind groups that we're in, find them a local agent in actually um, Lakeland, Florida, and they're going to be meeting up with her when they head out there this Thanksgiving and, and get a dialogue going and understand what the options are. So I think to your point, Lane, it's on that checklist, just look at what your options are and just start dipping your toe in the water. And, and doesn't it feel like, you know, more often than not, when, when you start to dip your toe in the water, that action plan, that two-year action plan speeds up a lot quicker. All of a sudden, it might be a six-month or a 12-month plan because you might fall in love with that town. You might fall in love with that home, and that's okay. Uh, but just, that's why you want to uh, develop these relationships now. And if it is a two-year plan, you want to have everything set in place because if that two-year plan ends up becoming a six-month or a one-year plan, at least you have that roadmap already already planned out for yourself. That's absolutely right. You've got to be prepared to accelerate, perhaps, because especially for folks leaving California, what we keep hearing is there's so many options. Uh, and although prices are escalating throughout the country due to demand, there's a lot to buy for your money, uh, comparatively speaking, to California. So, Lane, you're, you're, you know, you're absolutely right on there. And again, we also know that uh, with the technology today, it's so easy from the comfort of your home just to research, whether it's on, you know, Zillow, Redfin, whatever. We know people do that, and uh, we believe it's a collaborative effort. You've got access to those things. So as you're perusing those, you kind of start getting excited about some areas. And uh, what you don't want probably is a whole bunch of agents bombarding you. So that's another reason why that might be a caveat we use. If you're looking on some of these online sources, probably don't need to sign up for anything, especially if you're a couple of years away. Just kind of, you know, again, dipping your toe in the water, getting a feel for what's out there, and then, you know, us or you know your agent if you already have another one should be able to help you find someone in one of those areas sure well let's talk about um reasons why retirees are moving let's do it so there's it's obviously we're in a COVID pandemic still and during all of this people have realized that friends and family have become more important and it's just like a higher standard of, of their lives so it's there's no i mean there's there's a reason why uh, moving closer to friends and family is number the number one reason why retirees are moving. Yeah. Um, number two, tied for a second, reducing expenses, downsizing into a smaller home. Uh, then following is starting a new chapter in life, moving to a better climate, and then finally moving into an aging, aging friendly home. Um, but obviously the top three here, moving closer to friends and family, reducing expenses and downsizing into a smaller home. So one, I mean, the smaller home, you have empty nesters, you know, even clients that Scott, you and I have helped recently, five bedroom pool home uh, with where well, they're only using one or two of the bedrooms at most. Yeah. And they just and they downsize into a, a, a two bedroom beach bungalow. Yeah. And then reducing expenses. So uh, again, if we're, we're if we're bringing in our actual clients into the into this topics here um moving out of state you know with big big lots of equity big homes here that they're selling and they're buying something for half the price out of state and using the rest of the proceeds uh towards their retirement exactly and you know what i found really interesting about this survey was the lowest uh, item on the totem pole so to speak was moving to an aging friendly community and you know when i got in the business 30 years ago it was kind of that was I would say at the top of the list. People were thinking, "Oh, I want to get into a retirement community where I'll have less maintenance, I'll have more activities uh, that are planned for me, I'll have uh, my medical care closer by." I think what's happening here, and I'd like your opinion on this, Lane, is and also it's borne out with our own clients. People are staying vibrant longer. Um, they're staying active longer. They're uh, retiring younger. So I think that's one of the reasons that. Uh, item has moved to the lowest priority. And um, it, I found that just very, very interesting. And it's almost like people are retiring for the first uh, five items on that list and then going to be thinking about that aging community as maybe a secondary move later on in retirement. 
Switch. I mean, there could be another move. Yeah. And, and if, and a lot of the aging communities that they're building brand new right now, I've actually had the pleasure of touring a couple. There's probably, and you're probably right on there. There's probably a reason why they're adding these extra pickleball courts and these mini golf courses, because a lot of the today's retirees are, are still very, very active and choose and want to be very active. Exactly. So you're absolutely right. As far as the vibrancy. Yeah. I love I love those stats and I love hearing those those reasons and I I think too that's educating the folks that are watching today to understand people just like them are you know what reasons they're using to determine you know what to make a move absolutely okay so shall we transfer gears and talk about Halloween absolutely but before we do just a reminder once again if there's anything that we can do to help you with your individual circumstance you know we're just a, a text a call an email away uh, and we want to be that resource with regards to this we don't have all the answers but we like curating these facts and kind of just getting everyone's thoughts stirred up yeah we also have additional stats and information on exactly what we just talked about as far as should retirees buy uh, their um, retirement home early and they can go to our blog and we'll yeah. post our blog. There it is, sackandstoneteam.com slash blog. And I believe it's the second blog down as of today. Um, but yeah, if you want to learn more and, and, and expand more about what Scott and I have talked about, that's exactly where